Oh, well, well. Hello and welcome back to the Beefy Tech channel. I'm not here to waste your time. I've got a quick and dirty video for you that will indeed 100% guarantee fix your zombies FPS. And I'm saying that because I've just tested it and I'm coming out of that test smiling because the fix is extremely simple and extremely easy to do. Let me show you. This right here is Modern Warfare 3 Zombies with resizable bar turned on. And you're going to see where I'm getting at with that statement. Now, what you'll notice if you look in the top right hand side is that my FPS is hovering between the 160s to 180s, roughly 170 when looking at the middle of a map in the general location of that Pack-a-Punch machine. Now I move it a bit more to the right, the FPS does not really change much, it's pretty much the same. So you may notice that there's this sort of area within the zombies map that is worse, because when I turn to the right hand side, look at my buddy over there, you may notice that the FPS suddenly goes to 320 plus, averages with 220 in the lows. Now yes, to confirm this, it's a bug with resizable bar. Basically, when you have resizable bar turned on, within like a 100 degree radius of the middle of the map, your FPS will be horrible. Doesn't matter if you're on Intel, doesn't matter if it's AMD, that's simply the case. Now we jump over to a recording I did when I turned resizable bar off. And <laughs> it's a whole different story basically. The FPS is matching what we were seeing on the sides while looking dead center in the exact same spots. Not only that, the 1% lows are significantly better. So, so resizable bar off helps a crap ton. When you look on the sides, you even see upwards of 340, 350 FPS, but this dog over here decided to give me a rough time. But uh, yeah, basically the side FPS is better, the front FPS is better, and those big ass drops that you saw just don't exist anymore. The game is significantly smoother, and the averages and the 1% lows show that quite clearly. But here's the kicker. Disabling a resizable bar does not come without downsides. So, to disable it, all you have to do is go over to the File Explorer yellow folder and click on it. Once you're on it, go to Documents. Once you're on it, go over to Call of Duty, then Players, and then find the Options.4.cod23 folder, this one right here. This is specifically tied to Modern Warfare 3 settings. Now, all you're gonna do is double click it and open it up in Notes. Here, I already have the custom config file down below. Uh, momentarily, this version of the file is uploaded with rebar off. Why? Because I found it to be the safe bet, but I'll also upload a version with rebar on, because I think it's necessary and we'll talk about that at the end of the video. But basically, you now want to do just Control F, which pops up this little search bar, and you're gonna just type heaps. Why are you gonna type heaps? Because this is resizable bar within the game. Now that you've found heaps, it's called GPU Upload Heaps, you just set it to false. And the way you set it is you unironically delete whatever is written in there and type false if you want it disabled. And then you delete whatever is typed in there and type true if you want it enabled. And unironically, that is the entire gimmick. Turning this off fixes zombies. But if you do turn it off, you sacrifice some GPU performance. So you need to keep in mind that not all systems will truly benefit from this. If you have an overkill CPU and an underpowered GPU, this will hurt your system in performance. But if you do have a 7900 XTX or a 4090, you need to keep in mind that your GPU is powerful enough to where you're going to want your CPU to keep up with it. And the simple solution is to nerf the GPU slight amount to boost the CPU by disabling resizable bar. These right here are the settings for my 7800X3D. It's nothing special. I've got my Percore Undervolt right here, manually tested with Prime95, OCCT, and two other programs, and also the RAM timings that I'm using. This is a generic MDIE kit, just so you know, so I'm not using Hynix ADI right now, uh, because the Hynix ADI is in my 14900K system, but I thought I'd leave the settings here in case any of you guys were curious. But here's the kicker. I've turned Resizable Bar on yet again, specifically to jump in a private match in multiplayer, and demonstrate why this is sort of a problem. If you disable resizable bar to save your zombies FPS, you basically kind of sacrifice your multiplayer FPS. As you can see, we're currently getting about 426 to 428 average FPS with about 330 in the 1% lows within this random ass map in multiplayer. Yes, it is fully GPU bound. Let's switch over to resize bar off. And now we are here with resizable bar turned off, and if I turn on the 1% lows, 
you may see that I did lose some GPU performance, roughly 20 FPS in both 1% lows and averages. So, you are sacrificing a little bit of multiplayer performance and you may even sacrifice a Sheikah Island performance when it's released next week for the new updated movement and all that stuff. But, you will indeed be getting significantly more consistent Urzik stand performance, which in my books is worth turning Rebar off. But, it may not be for everybody, so I thought I'd let you know. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If my 15 to 20 minutes of work were indeed helpful to you and fixed your FPS, make sure to consider liking and subscribing and let me know down in the comments section if it indeed actually fixed your FPS. For me, it was a simple on and off and boom shakalaka, everything was fixed. But uh, yeah, maybe it's not the same for everybody. So if that's the case, tell me in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next video and goodbye.